Okay, in this section we are going to see how to nest associative arrays in order to form collections. So first of all, a collection means nothing but an array which contains other arrays as items. So which means I can have an array and inside that array I can have each of the elements to be arrays themselves. So whenever you have an array and the two other arrays inside the array we call them as nested arrays and that too whenever we have those nested arrays in the form of associative arrays then we together can form a particular collection so this is one sort of an example here so imagine I'm having three arrays and currently those are empty but instead let us consider each of those arrays are associative arrays and now whenever I actually create another new array with all of those array elements as themselves are arrays so which means each of these arrays are treated as array elements inside another new array and that another new array is being assigned to AMPS and that is what we will be calling it as collection so which means a collection can have a particular array with itself containing a set of multiple arrays and each of those arrays are nothing but the associative arrays so if we have something of that structure we can say that we can form a collection using existing arrays whatever being supported as part of JavaScript so let us have a quick demo on the collection itself so let me add a new example here so I would like to call this one as 05 and inside this I would like to say script and then I would like to have a couple of arrays to be added so in this case I would like to have an array called emp1 and again I would like to mention this one as an associative array so that is the reason I would like to have an associative array to be declared something of this sort so which means I have an associative array with four of these properties and each of those properties having those particular values so which means this array is having string based indexes and that is the reason we call it as associative array and based on those string based indexing positions we have the respective values to be stored so now that we have employee 1 let us have a couple more so I have EMP2 now and similarly I can have 2 2 2 so just to make some difference I would like to have some changes in my data here so instead I would like to have something like production and similarly I would like to create another array and I would like to call this one as emp3333 and for some difference I would like to have some different data here and in this case something like this and I would like to have something like sales so let me create another array and I call this array as emp4 for now and again for 4 4 4 and a different data for this one so I would like to have something like win for now and 89 and I would like to say IT department so now that we have four employee related information I would like to have all of these four arrays to be stored inside another array and the array name is called employees so you can see EMPS is an array basically and inside this array I would like to mention that all the elements inside this new array are going to be the arrays whatever I already defined at the top so you can see all of these arrays I am defining as elements to this particular collection so which means this new array becomes a collection of all of these associative arrays together forming an another array and now in order to display this I would like to write a function called display employees and let us have some body here so I would like to have an input tag and button 
and where the caption of this button is going to be something like uh, show employees and on click I would like to call display employees okay so now that we have that so I would like to have a horizontal rule just for the separator and that I would like to have another div ID and I would like to call this one as results div so whenever I click on this button I would like to execute this function so essentially this is going to be the same so I would like to execute this function and this function is supposed to show all the employees whatever I have written here in this div so let me get hold of the number of elements available in the collection so I get the number of employees and then I get hold of this results div so I have results div here and I can say document dot get element by ID and then I can say results div so in that way I get access to this particular div whatever I wrote here and then I can have a for loop which can essentially go from the zeroth position in the collection of this employees array to n so which is nothing but the length of the array right here and then I can say i++ plus plus. so which means essentially we are parsing through or traversing through each and every particular element available in this collection so which means for every iteration I'm going through each of those arrays so let us get the hold of the element so in this case from the employees collection I would like to get the ith element so imagine I'm having i value is 0 so which means employees of 0 so whenever I say employees of 0 which means nothing but I am getting employee 1 so that employee 1 is going to be stored in EMP so employee 1 is essentially this one so I need to parse or traverse through all of these elements and then push all those elements to results due so for that purpose I am going to have another loop exclusively to go through all the keys available inside that associative array which means all of the string based indexes so all the strings are going to be stored in the key for each of those particular elements available in the array EMP which itself is a single most element whatever we are fetching through this loop from the EMP's collection so now that we have that uh, let us create a new div and I would like to call this one as document.createElement and uh, the element I would like to create is div for now and um, I can say new div dot inner html equals I would like to mention like I would like to have the both key and the value so that is EMP's key so which means I am going to get the string index name and the value to be displayed in this fashion so once I have the new div already created with the content I need to add the new div to this results div so I have results div dot append child and I am going to add a new div directly as a child to the results div so to make some difference so which means for every employee I would like to add a break tag so that you know it gives us much more better uh, readable format now I am going to create another element called PR tag so after that I would like to have results div dot Happen child and I'm going to have the new br tag to be added so this is essentially going to be the new br so now that we have the results div so it looks like we have completed everything and let us try executing this for a second and the moment I click on this now you can see all of the arrays or the employees which are 
actually stored in the form of associative arrays together in the form of collection have been displayed here and this is the break tag I was mentioning earlier so without having the break tag you will not see this space and if you don't see the space all of these will be actually next to each other and you will be finding some hard time actually to differentiate between each of those elements